Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPhone app demo for Shake to You by Wenjoy Technology. This application is in the utilities category and works best on an iPhone or iPod Touch. Currently sells for $1.99. There's also a free version of this app called Shake to You Lite that you can download and test drive before purchasing the full version. With a simple shake, two iPhones are connected over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, allowing you to transfer your files, your photos, contacts, and send your business card, plus a whole lot more. Here's the opening application for both screen. You can see on the bottom left, I'm currently disconnected. However, I'm gonna tap on this phone, my iPhone, and then I'm gonna tap on Mrs. Crazy Mike's iPhone, and bam, there's a connection request sent, and we are connected currently through Wi-Fi. Now, to be connected through Wi-Fi, you're gonna have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Also, you can connect through Bluetooth, just as easy. I've tried it for both, and it works both ways. Now, let's go ahead and show you how to transfer real quick. And I'm going to move over to just my iPhone and show you some other functionality. If I tap on files here, I can pull up the files that are in my file area, including photos. And actually, I made a folder for photos, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now, I have this file here, and I'm going to go ahead and look at the upper right. Once I tap on the file, there are some options. Transfer. I can tap there, and there are a variety of ways that I can put to transfer this file, or protections, no protection, no protection, read only, delete when expired, delete after browsing. So there's a lot of cool functionality. If I set it with no protection, I'm going to show you each of these in the application on this side, or on my application, read only. I'm going to go ahead and send it no protection, and you'll immediately see on the left-hand side that Mrs. Crazy Mike's iPhone has received the document. So we can go in here, and you can see I've sent this a couple of times, but it just came over a few seconds ago. It's actually time-stamped as well. Now, this phone that received it can do a couple of things with it as well. Transfer, and you can see there, and you can pick which, which document. We'll say this one, tap on there, and we'll say send, and here it comes. And again, now she gets the same, or this phone gets the same request, no protection, read only, delete when expired, and so on. We'll cancel out of there, because we've already done that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my phone since I've showed you how to transfer a file. Now additionally, let's go back to both of these. I can go into photos as well, and I can tap on a photo. Some of these other locks and things like that, I'll, I'll explain those in a moment. Tap on this photo here, and I can go ahead and transfer that as well. I put, uh, let's put delete after browsing. And it's going to go over here and it's going to end up, again, in this iPhone's files. And there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. If you see the little eyeball on the lock there, tap on that. I view this file. I'm done viewing it. One, I cannot transfer this file. It won't let me transfer it. It won't let me do anything else. I can't email it. Nothing. Go back out. It's gone. That's because it was a read, it was delete after you read it. That's the way it works, and then it disappears. So it's gone out of the files on this second phone. So let's go ahead and switch over to this phone only, which is mine. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you some other functionality in here. So we're gonna back out here. We'll go all the way to the beginning, okay? So here we have the opening screen. Top right, we actually have the settings. iTunes file sharing. You can connect your iPhone to your laptop or your PC, whichever one, and when you're in tethered to iTunes, you can actually share the files that are on this device or in your iPhone in the app to your laptop, PC, what have you, through tethering and using the application setting in iTunes sharing. Protected tap here, and you can actually add a passcode to the application overall. You can have an always confirm before connecting with others, transfer always with my card, which is the business card I'll show you in a moment, and then you can see the other connected devices, such as there. I've also connected to my iPad, so it will work with iPads as well, and there's some other information here as far as technical support and tell your friends about Shake to You. Now let's back out of there. We'll go back into files and I can go into my photos there and again I can tap on a photo here. This one again is a read only. Once I tap on this one I'm gonna see it once and once I go back it's gonna be gone. Here I have one that I can look at but it's gonna expire tomorrow. I've set it to expire tomorrow uh, and I did that as the sender and that's a control you can put on it. It has a little clock on the lock. And then you also have this one, which is 
read only so I can't do anything with this one as well the only files you can you can I'm sorry you can read only in other shake to you application so if you have somebody who has shake to you you can share it to them that way tap here again it is protected I can't do that but on an unprotected file we can tap on the bottom left icon and we can save it to our photo album we can email it and you can open it in some other applications that work with the shake to you app and you can also delete the file there you can also tap on the information and get all the details of the application including size this is kind of a whopper photo for just an iphone photo and you get all the information down here back out of there and that's the basics of sharing now when you're in your file area Besides transferring, you also have an arrow here to go into iTunes file sharing when you're connected. And you also have an edit button. And this is how you're going to actually create a folder by tapping on the folder icon up there. Create a new folder and I could put, uh, you know, just PDFs and make that and go ahead and put done. And now I have a PDF folder and then I'm done and we can go back here and then Oh, that's in the file folder so I did that in photos so I want to do that actually here tap on the folder there and again PDFs and when I'm done I'm done now I can transfer all of these PDFs into there put move it'll ask me where I want to move it to and I want to move it there and I put yes so now I have everything nice and neatly organized in my folders easy to do very simple application very very good for conferences and so on now you can also share contact information very easily uh, with just a shake I mean you can tap on a contact tap on any contact and say triple A and I can transfer over when I have a connection that easy which is really beautiful if somebody needs some contact information that you had again you met them at a conference and you want to share some contact information there's also my business card here I can shake and transfer this and you can edit this there's a whole lot more fields than I filled out I just wanted to give you an example but you can put your own image in there and again this kind of does away with having to scan business cards when you can just shake and hand them right off to another person bottom left I am disconnected currently and in the bottom right you can see the connection options either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth it's a very easy application to share a lot of information and until next time this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's app saying see ya